Humans have always used food as medicine from ancient times across many cultures right up until now. Why is this and what is the evidence? At a time when we're being bombarded by messages about the health properties of food, miracle foods and special diets, what is fact and what is fiction? Can we really use food as medicine? Hi, I'm Gary Williamson and I'm the head of the Department of Nutrition, Dietetics and Food here at Monash University in Australia. My team and I are here to explore the exciting area of food as medicine. When we talk about food as medicine, we're not talking about using a single nutrient to treat a condition. We're talking about taking a whole diet approach. That's looking at all the foods that you eat across the day, the week, a year, or even your lifetime. There's a lot of evidence about food and how it affects our health, and the evidence is changing. What we recommended 20 years ago has now evolved into new recommendations of, of what we suggest people eat today, and that's likely to change again into the future as more evidence comes to light. What is exciting to consider and what we will explore is how food is utilised as medicine in the 21st century. There are multiple examples of how foods have been used as medicine in the past and I guess looking at different cultures and across different parts of the world. The literature from an arts perspective has really stemmed I guess from the French and the British began to write about food and I think there is a lot of unrecorded history of food. And what's happening now is the medical and scientific literature is beginning now and those worlds are beginning to merge. We'll cover all kinds of food-related topics like weight management, nutrition guidelines and portion sizes. We'll explore if superfoods are a thing, if supplements are worth it and we myth-bust some common misperceptions about carbohydrates. We look at foods that affect inflammation and gut health and even how foods affect our genetics as well as all kinds of other fascinating topics. By the end of the course, we want you to be able to identify foods that are healthy helpful to you and your family and have a clear understanding about how the food you consume has a direct impact upon your health. So no matter where you're based in the world or what your level of knowledge already is in this area, join us to learn about all the wonderful properties of foods and how you can use food as medicine.